On today's show, I'm going to print some templates, circle templates, and see just how accurate this Da Vinci is printing. As a starting point, I went into Tinkercad and created this little hole template just to see how small I could go. Then I found this larger one on Thingiverse. It had hole sizes that went all the way from one millimeter all the way up to 25 millimeters. I loaded the .stl file directly from Thingiverse into XYZWare. I printed out these templates separate, so I'm only showing the one here, but it basically was the same steps. So once I had it loaded into XYZWare, I clicked on the export button, and then I set it for a low fill of 10%, a layer height of 0.2, and then I didn't need supports or raft or even the auto, new auto repair. I just clicked export and it began slicing. Now this took just under a minute to slice, but after I did it, I realized it didn't matter what the layer height was because this is really a test in the X and Y direction. It's got nothing to do with the Z direction or the layer height. So any setting would have worked. But once it was done, I sent it to the printer. So as you can see, these prints came out pretty good. Uh, this one I printed on a raft, so I had to clean the bottom of it a little bit. But overall, it looks really, really good. And this one just looks excellent. <laughs> I printed it flat with no raft, so the way I have it set to the print being real tight to the bed, there's a little bit of lip on the inside of these that can probably clean up a little bit with an X-Acto knife. So let me uh, zoom in here. As you can see, the two millimeter hole printed fine. The one millimeter hole didn't. Now on my print, I went down to 1.5 millimeters and that hole printed just fine. So it looks like 1.5 millimeter is the minimum. But to test the roundness, I took coins and I stuck them in various slots. And it's amazing how well they fit and I didn't see any gaps around the coins. So the, the holes looked really good. These sizes look really, really good and very round. So I'm getting good prints out of my Da Vinci. There's no doubt about it. Those bed fixes I made to get rid of the movement of the bed and just tightening things up really, really helped. So I think overall the print quality is excellent. Now I can make stencils. I can make all kinds of stuff and know that the quality is going to be there. So if you like this show, check out some of my other shows. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. It lets me know you're watching. See you next time.